Want to deal high damage and carry your team? Then here's a quick guide for Hanabi, the Scarlet Flower. I personally like to play Hanabi when I'm facing up a pre-made squad since I'm a solo player. Since every couple is always holding hands, she's good at sabotaging every relationship you face up against. Anyways, here's the build and emblem. You can switch out the Wind of Nature for any survivability item if need be. Also, for the second emblem talent, I usually switch it out between these two. Here are the boots I recommend using. Here are eight tips and tricks for Hanabi. Skill upgrade order? Full combo? Maximizing damage. Since her basic attacks, second skill, and ultimate bounces, it's best to fight when there are two or more targets together, such as an enemy, creep, or minion. Skill vision. You can somewhat have vision on a bush with your second skill and ultimate when you see them bounce. Aegis or Purify? Both are good. But I would recommend using Aegis instead, since the shields given to her will make her immune to crowd control, and you can mitigate some damage. Some players even tend to forget that since she has a hidden passive on her first skill, the downside is that you can't cleanse the debuffs away like Purify. So try to preemptively use Aegis before getting crowd control. Heroes she's best with. Since you'll be using the build shown earlier, she'll be making the enemies low, and Martis or Karina can finish them off with ease. She's also best with Angela as well, since the massive shields given to her will make her immune to crowd control. Heroes she can counter. She's good at countering heroes that rely on being close together, such as Estes, Faramis, Popol and Koopa, but she can be countered by Hellkurt, Yin, and Esmeralda. Side note, avoid using Aegis when facing Esmeralda. That's unless you want to die quicker. Since you've made it to the end, which hero would you like to see next? I'll be choosing a random comment for the next hero guide. 